हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजेंद्र पुरोहित एंड यू आर वाचिंग आवर यूट्यूब चैनल वेर आई अपलोड वीडियोस फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बीएससी इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज आस्ट देन YouTube channel is very helpful for you. Today I will tell you that there is one more formula for central difference that is Bessel formula. This formula is very helpful to find out the value of center for interpolation. Before this I taught you Newton forward and backward formula. Also for center it was Gauss forward and backward. Then I discussed Stirling formula. Today I will explain how to find the value by using Bessel formula. In exam these questions are asked by their names. Like use Bessel formula and find value of this. So how to do this? and if you have not seen my previous video then you can watch it from my tab now let's start so we will talk about bessel formula now to learn the formula you have to find a different way you have to focus on the coefficient here first the coefficients are little different here because in stirling or gauss forward backward or newton forward backward they had fixed pattern but here pattern is quite different so this works fine but this works in a different way okay you remember the last formula so i want to tell you first that whenever we have x and y i told you that whenever we take the center's value here what do we take we take zero then this is minus 1 minus 2 this will be 1 2 now here what do we do with this its corresponding value y0 y minus 1 and y minus 2 comes here and this will be y1 and y2 listen we will find del y here then this will be del y minus 2 del y minus 1 and del y0 and this will be del y1 okay understood then if we move ahead so here we will get the value of del square y as minus 2 and del square y minus 1 and del square y0 in the same way we will have this del cube y so this will be del cube y minus 2 and del cube y minus 1 then the value of del 4y which we get is del 4y minus 2 right clear and here when we talk about the gauss forward and backward stirling i am referring to the difference between stirling and bessel in the stirling formula it had this and then these two then this and again these two but here when we talk about bessel So let's take out the average of these two then this then this then this and at last this is how the formula works you need to understand this okay so if i write this formula here then we will get a plus h u right students first we take the average of these two then the value will be y0 plus y1 by 2 and then we will take this so from here we will get u minus 1 by 2 upon 1 factorial then this will come del y0 then we get u into u minus 1 upon 2 factorial and then we will get the average of these two which will be del and here we have square and y minus 1 plus del square y 0 upon 2 okay right students then plus again we will have to write u minus 1 by 2 then into u again into u minus 1 upon 3 factorial then we have the value of it which is del q y minus 1 plus here we have u plus 1 u into U minus one and U minus two upon four factorial. Then average of both will be here. So the value that we get it comes two as is del four. Y minus one. So here the average here will be. So del four y minus two plus del four y minus one divided by two. So we can write it in this way. We solve it by putting the value here. Let me give you an example and I will try to explain it using the example. You have to find value of y twenty eight using Bessel formula, where y twenty y twenty five y thirty. Y thirty five, Y forty values are given. So whenever we need to make the table here, then what do we have to do? You see these values twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, and forty. So we will write these values with the help of table. Okay. Then its corresponding value we can write it here, whichever value we have to find, like twenty eight. Twenty eight will come in between these two. We will take it as Y zero and this is Y one. Okay. Generally, students make mistake here, so pay attention. You need to understand that this is y zero, this is y one, this is y minus one, this is y two, and this is y three. Corresponding to this, this is del y minus one. So this will be del y zero, del y one. Now listen, we will get here del square y minus one and del square y zero. Then this will be del cube y minus one and del cube y zero, and this will be del power four y minus one. Now whenever we apply Stirling formula, we will take it like this. Now del y zero, del y one, then del square y minus one and del square y zero. Then this will be y zero. Then 
it goes like this like this like this okay here the value will be this right here nothing is given so we will assume it to be zero what is the formula try to understand it the formula we have here is f a plus h u equals to now see this we will have y zero here plus y one divided by two plus here we will get u minus one by two upon one factorial then here we have its value which will be del y zero okay understood then moving ahead we will get u into u minus one upon two factorial students then we will get an average here what would be that average now we will write del square y minus one plus del square y zero divided by two and then the term will be u minus one by two u into two u minus one upon three factorial the next term will be del cube y minus one right clear till here okay so you need to understand this completely plus next we have u plus one u u minus one and u minus two upon four factorial and this is average here and then del power four minus one and this is del power four minus two okay the formula here will be del to the power four y minus two and del to the power four y minus one divided by two but when we have zero here we don't have to be pressurized let's put the value here and solve it when we have to apply the value here what is the first step we will put a plus h u as 28 since we have to find value of 28 right see here now we will take the value of a as 0 then we will get 25 as its value and the value of h here will be 5 then we will solve it here we will apply value then 25 plus 5 u but we want the value of 5 here and we will place this value here 28 students we will take this over there so here we have 5 u is equal to 3 so the value of u is 3 divided by 5 that means this we have 0.6 so this is how we find the value of u now what we will do here here we will place value in formula so we will get value f 28 is equal to y0 plus y1 so how much is y0 this this is coming y0 right so 4 8 3 1 6 plus 4 7 2 3 6 divided by 2 plus u minus 1 divided by 2 so u is coming 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5 you know 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 divided by 1 factorial would be 1 into del y 0 so we will get this from here 1 0 8 0 and then plus now listen to me students what value we will get here as this is u and we are getting u as 0.6 then 0 0.6 minus 1 divided by 2 and then we will take the average here and this will come to minus 171 minus 230 divided by 2 will come right then we have the next term which will be we have here u minus 1 by 2 so it will be 0.6 minus 0.5 and after that we will have 0 0.6 0 0.6 minus 1 divided by 3 factorial means 6 and del cube y minus that is minus 59 the next we will get here will be so what will we get here listen to me attentively u 0.6 plus 1 and this will be 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 minus 1 and 0 0.6 minus 2 divided by 4 factorial that is 24 and then the average of both so this is 0 and this is coming to us as minus 21 divided by 2 so how to solve this in calculator you see it's very important to know how to use calculator and if you did a mistake in calculator then answer could be wrong okay so how are we going to do this inside the bracket we will write for 8316 plus 47 are you following me here 2 3 6 bracket close divided by 2 and plus then we will have 0 0.6 minus 0.5 then bracket close and then into here we have minus 1080 okay then we will again get plus and then we will have this value here 0 0.6 and then we will get 0 0.6 minus 1 bracket close and then double brackets here so this will be minus 171 and then minus 230 bracket close divided by 2 understood then finally we will close the bracket then divide by 2 and here we will get its value then again what we will do here tell me we will do plus here so we will get point point six and minus point five bracket close then it will come back point six bracket close clear till here then we will get here point six minus one and here into we will get minus fifty nine and divided by now we will get the value six here okay then plus here we will type 0.6 again plus 1 bracket 0 0.6 
then we will get 0 0.6 minus 1 bracket close 0 0.6 minus 2 close bracket again then students here we will get minus 21 and divide by here we will get 24 into 48 since we have both 24 and 2 so we will have divided by 48 so the answer we have here is 47692.06 so this will be our answer okay understood so if you are preparing for CSIR net gate IIT jam our books are on Amazon it's on Flipkart also so you can buy them there I had taught you how to do these questions using sterling as well if you have watched my sterling video so same here I am trying to solve it using Bessel formula we have value on 20 24 28 32 and it is asked that what will be its value on 25 what will be its value 20 24 28 32 right then in its corresponding we will make a difference table and what do we have here it's y0 and y1 then students when we see here this will be our del y0 and this will be del y minus 1 then we will get y minus 1 and y2 and its corresponding value here will be del y1 right okay then this will be del square y minus 1 and this del square y0 and this will be del cube y minus 1 are you getting this formula when we use the basal formula first we take these two then this will come then this so this is the formula we use here are you following me did you understand I will tell you its formula if you don't know it the formula here will be fa plus hu okay is equal to it will be y0 plus y1 by 2 plus here we will get you minus 1 by 2 upon 1 factorial or here we will get del y0 plus u into u minus 1 upon 2 factorial so here the average out value will be del square y minus 1 okay plus del square y0 upon 2 plus here we will have u minus 1 by 2 u into u minus 1 upon 3 factorial into this will be del cube by minus 1 right this is the formula we have here now in this formula when you see the value we are going to calculate is 25 so this is the center right here we know what we are taking a center then we will get let me write here a plus hu is equal to 25 and what are we taking a here 24 and what are we getting for h here 4 let's put this so 24 plus 4u is equal to 25 and we will get this as 4u is equal to 1 it implies u is equal to what will be here 0.25 now when we put the value in its formula then we will get the answer f 25 is equal to correct this will be y0 plus y1 that is 32 plus 35 divided by here we have its value will be by 2 that's right understood and then here we will get plus then we will get you minus 1 by 2 so u is 0.25 here and minus 1 by 2 so it can be written as 0.5 divided by 1 factorial which is 1 and divided by 0 this gives us 3 okay plus here we have or next thing is you multiply u minus 1 by 2 that is 0.25 and this will be 0.25 minus 1 upon 2 factorial 2 end then the average of both of them that is minus 5 plus 2 upon 2 plus it will be 0.25 minus 1 by 2 so its value will be 0.5 then this will be 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 minus 1 upon 3 factorial that will be equal to 6 okay understood then here we will take del cube minus 1 and the value which we will get here will be how much 7 right so students when you solve it with calculator then the answer will be 32.945 and this will be the answer here okay did you understand till here this is how we can solve this here tell me in the comment box how much time did you take to solve this question please comment and tell me if you haven't subscribed the channel then do it now because it won't cost you anything with like subscribe if you press the notification bell also then you will get notifications so this will be helpful to you and if you want to watch my old videos then you can get entire playlist of numerical analysis and if you are preparing for CSIR NetGate IIT jam and want to improve general aptitude then can watch the playlist and do subscribe the channel so thank you so much everyone